It was the gun to get a better gun. But officially, it wasn't a gun at all. Officially, it was the FP-45 flare projector, but the flares were 45 ACP. Later, the FP-45 would get the nickname Liberator and is now one of history's guns. History remembered and sponsored by the Civilian Marksmanship Program. It is one of those unique ideas that's so simple, it's brilliant. The FP-45, nicknamed the Liberator, an awkward-looking U.S. pistol that never saw one day in action. The Liberator is one of the kind of the coolest guns that was never used. The Liberator was created in World War II, a clandestine effort in psychological warfare aimed at Germany and Japan. The idea was to produce a small, cheap firearm the Allies could airdrop by the tens of thousands to resistance fighters in Europe and Asia. The theory was that um, this gun could be picked up by the locals and they could sneak up on a German or a Japanese officer, pull the trigger, fire, kill them, and take their gun and pitch this thing. American industry jumped into action. General Motors was already producing tanks and trucks, airplanes and machine guns, feeding America's need for arms. And workers in GM's guide lamp division stepped up to answer the call quickly turning from headlight production to building the Liberator. What finally evolved was this little sheet metal wonder that had a short, smooth bore, seamless barrel. It was not called the Liberator. The Liberator is a more modern collector type term. Uh, at the time it was called FP45, which stood for flare projector. That was the code name. An honest to goodness secret weapon. And this cutaway shows how simple it is. 23 mostly stamped metal parts at a cost of only $2. General Motors made about uh, a million of these things in 90 days. There's a quip that somebody once said that uh, it's the only gun in the world that took longer to load and fire than it did to make. Uh, they really churned out a ton of them. GM packaged the FP-45 in an illustrated box complete with ammo. It also inserted a set of directions, not a single written word on them. Easy to read in any language, but confusing to the enemy. There's no words, the gun was totally unmarked, <clears throat> nothing to indicate its origin. We drop thousands of these things, and the Germans find hundreds or thousands of these things. And they'll wonder, my goodness, how many of these things are actually in the hands of the, of the locals? So it would have a great psychological effect. The Liberator is a single shot pistol chambered in 45 ACP. No scrimping on knockdown power. This is a nasty little bugger, it really is. Ten rounds of ammo are stored in a compartment in the Liberator's grip. You had ammunition, your single shot, you'd load it through the little trap in the butt, close that, boom, cock it, and you're ready to go. A matter of seconds to load and cock. The uh, flare projector had a real positive ejection system. Basically, you, you had a rod or a stick or a piece of wood or a wooden dowel and you just poked out the case and you would load it again. Though in theory, this is a weapon you were only supposed to shoot once. The gun you use to get a better gun. Just about any gun you get would be a better gun. Look, it does work, it's simple, and it wasn't a bad idea when you think about it. Why they never, uh, why they never carried through with the plans on a large scale, I really don't know. Truth is, top brass had their doubts about the pistol. Maybe it was the terrible recoil. Yeah, decidedly unpleasant. Or horrible accuracy. It is a smoothbore. There's quite a bit of windage, in other words, space between the, the bullet and the, the actual bore. So the bullet starts tumbling almost as soon as it leaves the barrel. Accuracy is nil, zilch, nada. So how bad is nada? We set a target at seven feet. Gary's first shot is a foot off the mark. I was aiming at the center of the target. His second, a few inches better. That one went in sideways. Looks like it uh, keyholed on us. 
This, this one went in nose first, that one went in sideways. So that means at seven or eight feet it started, to, it was tumbling. Uh, not exactly target grade. No, not exactly. Amazingly enough, it has a sight, why I don't know, because uh, it's strictly a point blank weapon. Which of course is all the Liberator was ever intended to be. To collect an original Liberator today will cost you three to five thousand if it's in the original box with the printed directions. They are rare. But you can get an accurate reproduction from Vintage Ordnance in Kentucky for around $500. Now that's a lot more than the original $2 price tag, but you can add one to your World War II collection.